replace the power steering pump on the 2000 Honda Civic I didn't see that many videos I wanted to make one but this is just like directions they won't be step by step but should get you through it so the power steering pump is located like right in between the uh, engine block so you have to get it through the bottom you remove first safety jack up the engine put a safety jack stand safety first then remove the wheel the power steering pump is going to be located right here right up the crankshaft pulley or the harmonic balancer it's going to be right there I already took it off but I just wanted to show you guys how uh, the simple procedures to get it out so you jack up the car remove the wheel the second step is put a jack stand or jack underneath the engine I'm lifting it by the oil pan using a piece of wood and a jack just to support it just just to support the engine and lift it up a little bit and then once you got that one done you're gonna remove the motor mount that is mounted in here first you're gonna remove this uh, support strut or a support strut uh, well you have to remove this support which is located right up over here then second you remove this bracket this bracket will be in this position you remove uh, three bolts or all the bolts on top including this ground wire once you remove that one you gotta remove this bracket which goes right here so once you remove that bracket you'll remove the motor mount which is right here this is the position Just move this motor mount get it out of the way and the reason is because from the bottom you can't reach one of the balls the seats Let's see if I can focus right next to that one right next to that one there's another mounting bolt from the bottom you can reach it but once you remove this motor mount you can easily reach it is this one on top get that one out you can easily get it out and then you get the one on the bottom that one's very easy so only those two so once you get that the power steering pump out it will come out along with the uh, it comes out pretty easy no struggling or nothing with the uh, pulley attached to it now if you have an impact gun you can take it out real quick but now you can buy one of these from AutoZone it's like uh, I don't know what's the name of it I had it for quite a quite some time it works does the job it's like a vice grip with a chain on it. I put a rag. I folded a rag so I won't damage the, the pulley. And just I just hold it uh, with enough pressure so it won't spin. Then you just use I had to use a long breaker bar. I put it on the floor, hold this against the floor. Put this one right here, and boom, I broke it loose. Once you break it loose, this one comes out easy by hand. And this one, you, know, you don't even have to do nothing, just lights out. I left it like that, so when I put it back on, I can tighten it up without doing any damage to that. That's pretty much it. You don't need that many tools. You need a the uh, 14 long socket, a 
a 12 short socket and a 10 millimeter short socket a 19 long socket and 17 long socket and you may you might need one one of each extensions maybe one of these short so that's it that's all you need 3 8 and a half inch or you can use whatever but that's all the tools you need pretty easy you can remove the motor mount once you remove the motor mount you easily be able to access this one and the one is a piece of cake the bottom the one on the bottom is a piece of cake these two hoses the tricky ones uh, this one comes with a 10 millimeter bolt so you remove this one first the metal the high pressure line first once you get out of the way then you remove the the uh, return line easy simple job